Good morning, everybody. This is Mystic Jen. I'm here with your daily tarot card reading for each sign. And I'm going to do what I did yesterday. I will try to get through this. Um, I can't guarantee I'll get through it without coughing because I'm really feeling a little bit under the weather today. Now, keep in mind that this is a, these are general readings just for the energy. So I'm picking up for today. These readings are timeless. And we'll go ahead and get started real quick. We're going to start out, as usual, with Aries. Okay, and we're going to ask Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for today? February, um, what is this? February, February 3rd. Man, I'm losing track of time. The brain fart. Brain fart. Okay. Let's see what energies we have for Aries for today. I should have had these shuffled up for my reading today, but I didn't even think about it. You know, those clouded lines. Sometimes when you don't feel that great, you don't think clearly. We have discovery. Um, discovery is... Exactly that, discovering something new, discovering something about yourself. This could be um, discovering a new relationship or discovering your spiritual self. There is a spirit behind here that I feel like that you are receiving new information from the spirit world. And you're, you might even, I feel like maybe you're discovering your spirit guides. <coughs> you're starting to discover your own spiritual self. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to dig into the tarot. We're going to get some tarot cards here for you, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. See if I can get through these quickly. Oh, we have a ton of cards coming on here. We're going to take these first three here I'm being shown. Okay, we have, um, this is strength. This is um, calling upon your inner strength. This is how you're a very strong person. You're able to tame that temper of yours. This is about taming that temper, Aries. Aries, you could be hothead sometimes. But this is about using um, gentle force, um, Overcoming your fears, being very strong, being brave and courageous. <coughs> and we have the Fool. There's actually two Fool cards in this deck. So it's being, you're being encouraged to embark on a new journey. And we also have... This is the Judgment card. So... This, this is about embarking on a new journey and having a rebirth. And I do feel like this could be a spiritual birth because we have the discovery card. We have the spirit in the background. And this is discovering new things. So you're having the courage and strength to go ahead and move forward in another direction and discovering your spiritual self. On, and it's basically like a rebirth. Okay. We're going to move on to Taurus. Okay, what messages do we have for Taurus for today? February 3rd, 2019. What messages do we have for Taurus? We have enlightenment and we have renewal. Both of them coming out. Okay, enlightenment and renewal. Um, we have being enlightened, new information coming out. And this is like renewed strength. This is renewing um, a new path. <coughs> I mean, an old path. This could be renewing a relationship. You've become enlightened. You've realized what it is that you want. You realize what is important to you. And there is a renewal on the horizon here. Okay. And let's see what the tarot has for you, Taurus. Okay, we have the moon. 
The moon is facing your dark side. The moon is face and facing your fears. Uh, it is, uh, things aren't always what they seem. And it's about not having illusions. So you've been enlightened about something. The illusions are gone. And it's time to face those fears. And, and there is an actual awakening and renewal within you. Is, I feel like this actually could be a renewal of a relationship. Okay. We also have the Knight of Swords. This is, this is action. This is thought. Um, fa fast moving thoughts. You probably have a lot of racing thoughts going through your head. And this is something you've been, you're, you're facing your fears. This is, a, this is being courageous. And you're facing those fears. You're facing your darker side. And you're coming to terms with it. And you're ready to charge forward towards that renewal that you're looking for. And we also have um, huh, the Queen of Pentacles. So, actually, and uh, so we're looking at actually. That's the King of Pentacles. But this is not gender specific. This is um, charging and becoming yourself again. Becoming that loyal, faithful, well-grounded, getting control of yourself. And <coughs> it's not being reckless, Taurus. Okay? Um, you, are, you also could be moving towards another Earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A renewal with a earth sign, possibly. You've been enlightened. And facing those fears and trusting and moving forward. Okay, that is Taurus. Okay, we are going to go ahead and now we're going to move on to Gemini. Okay, messages for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What do we have for Je Spirit? What do you have for Gemini today? What do you have for Gemini? Balance. How fitting, Gemini. You're the dual person. There's these people that seem like they're at odds with each other. And then there's someone else back in the background with a set of scales and trying to balance things out. This is about coming up with a fair resolution to a situation. I, if you look, everybody has their arms crossed. People are at odds with each other. Okay? This could be a third-party situation with three people. Okay? If it's in relationships, there could be a third party, some cheating going on. And it's, it's some, there's somebody trying to be fair, trying to bring things back into balance. And we have the... Um, We have the emperor here. So this is probably the emperor back here. Maybe you're trying to bring things back into balance, Gemini. And you're trying to take control. You are the ruler of the roost. You're trying to get things back in order. And we also have, now we have the, this is the queen of pentacles. This could be with an earth sign. Uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or it could be you trying to take on this energy of the Queen of Pentacles, trying to bring things back into balance and trying to <coughs> ground yourself and take care of the home and do what's right and take care, take care of your... She's more than just taking care of the finances and business and money. And then we also have the Six of Swords. You're coming out of a period of darkness and going into the light. You see that? You're coming out of that dark cave where... There's the choppy water, and there's clear water out there, and a nice bright sun. So you're headed towards brighter days, things coming back into balance, and these arguments being settled, and it's probably with an earth sign. Okay, uh, let's see. Now we're going to go on to Cancer. Cancer, Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer for today?
Okay, Cancer. Every so often, I've got to do a couple sh ruffle shuffles here. We have miracle. Cancer, your miracle's coming. There is something that you've been praying for and hoping for. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have not been feeling good. Anyhow, there's a miracle coming. Something that you thought was impossible is possible. Um, spirit has heard your prayer. God, Spirit, the divine. Here's a golden opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, that is the golden coin that is an opportunity opening up to you whether that's job new relationship uh, but it's definitely a new start usually something in the physical because it is of an earth element pentacles are earth and huh, another earth we again we get the queen of pentacles here I would say maybe that if you have a lot of earth, song, earth energy in your astrology chart, or this is calling for some serious grounding, because sometimes Cancerians can get quite emotional, and I feel like there's something you might have been emotional about you're waiting for an answer on, and here is the Nine of Rods. <coughs> the Nine of Rods is somebody who... If you look, she's trying to, she's actually picking flowers, but she's standing there with her rod, and she, almost like she's protecting her cross, protecting her, um, her homestead there. So what I feel like is after a, after this period of hardships, you are going to be very protective of yourself, and I get, I see a lot of green, so it's still, that's coming to me about grounding and that's still about earth that could also be the heart chakra green is heart chakra when it comes to the chakra cards um and the yellow is the solar plexus the solar plexus is what you're um what you what you're looking for uh it's the solar plexus is about your passions okay um, it's what's on your mind um, and it refers to thinking and intellectual processes so that is your third chakra so I feel like very strongly that this has been on your mind a lot Things are going to come to, for, you're going to get your answer. You're going to have a new start. Uh, I spent a little bit more time on counter than I planned, but so I have to go with what Spirit says. <coughs> and for Leo, we have perfection. Red is the base chakra, our root chakra. And I'm seeing the, there's these berries here. This is perfection. Doing thing you you're trying to be too perfect possibly, okay. So maybe there's a project and you're not happy about it because you are trying to perfect it. Way you're putting way too much um, emphasis on perfection, okay. Nothing's really truly perfect in this world. Okay, let's see what else we have, Leo. We're on the tarot. There's a couple cards here. We have, ha! Huh, we have the chariot. This is seven. Okay. Um, chariot is could be about travel. It's having gaining totally control, total control, and it is your driving force. You're a force to be reckoned with. Uh, you are heading towards success, towards a ten of cups. 
you're heading towards that ten of cups the the family the happy family there's children um the ten of cups is at the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle so you get to the ten of cups you're starting a new cycle but in a very happy place and this is a happy emotional environment so with a chariot you are moving over towards that but with the perfection card leo you have to keep in mind that no family is completely perfect everybody has their flaws okay um but there's going to be happiness that's the thing and then you have the two two of swords also the two of swords is blocking not letting anybody close not taking off the blindfold so what i'm feeling here is you are trying to be blind to the flaws in a family situation or a relationship you need to take off that blindfold turn yourself around look at the stormy waters and deal with it know that every family every relationship is going to have storms but you just need to know how to control it how to maintain your control to keep that balance and you'll have that happy family but like i said nothing's perfect no family is perfect no person is perfect okay we're going to move on to what's next virgo 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 Man, these cards just want to fly. Okay, we have grief. Okay, grief. <coughs> if Virgos are dealing with something sad, probably a loss that you are suffering. And it's all in the way that you deal with this grief. You want to deal with it therapeutically. Sometimes you have to ground yourself. This is... And this is the heart chakra. Green is the heart chakra card, part of the heart chakra. So you have a heavy heart today. Or like I said, this is timeless. This, this may have happened or this might be happening in a few days. These are just the energies that I'm picking up here. But there is definitely sadness, like a loss of some sort around you. Um, we have the six of swords that just flew out. So you're feeling the grief, you're feeling the loss, but sometimes it's time to pack up and move. So I feel like you're moving. Um, maybe you're moving south. I see bright sunshine. Okay, you are moving into better times ahead, but you have to finish getting through this storm. And yes, you're feeling the grief because you have to leave something. And it's, it's like a loss to you. And we have the Queen of Wands. Or Queen of Swords, I'm sorry. The Queen of Swords is no nonsense. She is, even though she, just like the Queen, Queens of Water, she can be loving when she wants to. She, but she doesn't, she masks her emotions. There's a mask in this. Okay. So she masks her emotions. But there's times when she takes that mask off and she could let you have it. She could cut you down. Maybe that's where the grief is coming from. Yes, in the general tarot, she does represent the divorced woman, the single woman, um, the scorned woman. So if this is you, you're pissed. And you're shutting down your emotions. And you're saying, I'm, uh, I'm out of here. Um, if this is somebody that you're dealing with, Virgo, she hasn't been very pleasant, okay? Uh, she's been very Queens of Swordsy, uh, as far as very cold. I'm getting very, I'm getting chills. But sometimes you've got to cut your losses and move on. And then the final card is we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is boredom. The Four of Cups is tired of the same old stuff. Uh, this is somebody who has just had enough. So I feel like, Virgo, you've had enough of the bullshit. And you're moving on. And you're leaving this cold woman. As hard as it is, there is still going to be sadness and grief. Because it's still a loss. Okay, we're going to go on to um, Libra. Man, 
Taurus just want to jump. Okay, Libra, what message do we have for Libra? Impartiality. This is perfect for Libra. Because Libra in a tarot is like the justice card. Um, this is trying to... This is saying don't take sides. I think you're going to be caught up in some kind of situation. And Spirit is calling you to be neutral. Okay. Be neutral in it. Don't let yourself get caught up in the drama. And try to look at things objectively. Um, we have the Eight of Swords. This is somebody who is very trapped in their mind. And they're trying to make their way out. So Libra... <coughs> Again, um, you feel trapped. You feel caught in the middle. And Spirit's saying, don't let yourself get caught in the middle. And we also have the Ace of Wands here. This is a new spark, a new spark of passion. Um, being optimistic is what I'm seeing. And the Four of Pentacles, holding on to what you have, but don't hold on too tight. So... I feel like you're caught up and it's a matter of getting out of the mindset. You're trapped in your mind because of your own doing. You're letting yourself get caught up in this drama. <coughs> okay. Um, the Ace of Wands is... is <coughs> I'm not reading it traditionally. I'm reading it as a fire stick. That there is a fire brewing. This might be a brand new situation that just started. Spirit says, don't let yourself get caught in the middle of it. Keep your opinion to yourself. When I say to keep things to yourself, the Four of Pentacles is saying, keep your opinion to yourself. Stay impartial. Okay. Okay, then we're going to go on to Scorpio. Okay. We have growth, Scorpio. And it's funny that water shows up because you are a water sign, Scorpio. And you are in the midst of growing. Okay? Some new seed, and this is from the heart chakra. The heart chakra is about the emotions and about love and relationships. And it doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be between children and between siblings and friends. But this is definitely... Something being sprouted out of the emotions and starting to grow. Okay? Um, there's growth. You're in the midst of growth. And your heart chakra opening up. Okay? Okay, we have the strength card again. For, we have it for you. Um, being... Totally calm. You have to draw on that inner strength, Scorpio. And don't let your emotions get the best of you. There's water here. There's a lot of emotions brewing right now. Uh, you might be have another situation where you're downright pissed off. But you have to handle it lovingly. You're feeling defeated. Okay, the five of swords. You were feeling defeated. And maybe even humiliated, Scorpio. You're feeling humiliated, but you have the inner strength to get through it and walk away in another direction because there's something new growing for you. And we have the world card. The world is an ending. Ending of a cycle, deliver for a new beginning. So yes, Scorpio, you have growth here. You have growth. You're at the end of a cycle. You're going to start something new. Um, you're going to start over. You're starting over. Okay. After you felt defeated, you felt humiliated. Um, you have that inner strength um, and courage to move forward, to end this cycle, and start growing, and you have new growth coming. Okay. Now we're going to go on to Sagittarius. Ah, okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay. 
okay? We have joy. Um, this, I mean, it's about finding that joy in your life. Um, some of you Sagittarius, I know some Sagittarius have been having a really rough time. But it's about trying to find that joy again. Um, something recently may have made you feel good and made you happy for a moment. But you need to find it within yourself to keep that up. Um, joy is there for you. Find that joy and that happiness. Okay. Um, we have the Page of Cups, which is self-discovery and reflection. And there's the, the emotions. And this is also could be messages of love, communications, receiving communications back and forth um, in a very loving and caring manner. It can be romantic love. It could be love between friends or parents and children, siblings. But... Messages received that leaves you reflecting upon them. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm probably taking a second look at things. You are searching in there for that joy. Somebody is so soul searching, looking for that joy that is that's buried deep within them and trying to bring it back out again. Ace of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy. Taurus Virgo Lee, um, uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, you have a chance at a brand new opportunity. Something just being handed to you, falling into your lap. It's a golden other opportunity. Sometimes they call this the once in a lifetime. Um, so you're self reflecting on things and trying to find that joy. And I think that joy is coming to you, and, and it's like a golden opportunity. Oh, my God. I can't make this shit up. Ace of Cups. Okay? Brand new golden opportunity in love, overflowing love, and the start of true divine love. This could also be self-love. You're looking for that joy. You're looking for that love, and it's right before you, and it is coming, Sagittarius. Okay, Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn today? What messages do we have for Capricorn? This card keeps popping up, so... Facade. It's time to stop pretending, Capricorn. You've been going through... This is your head in the clouds, Okay. You've been going through this for quite some time, Capricorn. <coughs> There's a tree. You're hoping for that growth. And see, that tree is so tall with a lot of branches already. So this is telling me this is something that's been going on for quite a long time. You put on this facade. You put on this happy face. Okay? Um, and pretend you, you're pretending everything's okay. There we go. You're pretending everything is okay, and you've been doing that for a very long time, Capricorn. What other messages do we have for Capricorn, Spirit? What other messages for this day, February 3rd, 2019? Huh, we've got the full card for you. So the full card is stop being a fool and stop pretending. Right off the bat, first things that came to my mind. It's time to... Go ahead and take that leap of faith and jump off that cliff into a whole new life. And this car went flying across. Oh, my God. The Knight of Swords, really? Okay. The Knight of Swords is fast thinking, fast movement. Don't be a fool for people coming in and swarming in and out of your life. Uh, there could be somebody in there uh, uh, that is uh, a, an air sign. It could be sun, rising, and moon. That is, um, that would be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But somebody rushing in, maybe they try to rush in and save the day all the time, but then they rush right back out. 
And that's why you keep this facade. You keep pretending everything's okay. And you keep letting this person run in and out. It's time to stop playing a fool. Uh, start doing something different. Okay? We got other cards that fell out here. But um, the Pentacles is what I've been drawn to. The Eight of Pentacles. Con your con and so now <coughs> you're going on a new direction and you're concentrating on your craft. Okay? Whatever your craft is, this is work and this is perfecting. So it's like you put on this facade, everything is okay. You have this person rushing in and out of your life. And it's time to take off the it's time to come that back down to earth. Earth and realize um, that you gotta stop pretending, go in a new direction. And I see a lot of you concentrating on work and perfecting your craft. Okay, now we're gonna go on to Aquarius. I've got two more signs. I got Aquarius and Pisces. Okay, Aquarius, this fell out right out of the deck. This is acceptance. Aquarius, this is acceptance of the way things are, the way your life has been going, and acceptance of your true self is what I'm being told. <coughs> There's gifts being given to you, and you have to accept them. Spirit is behind you trying to talk to you. So they're trying to give you messages. <coughs> it's up to you to open up and hear them. <coughs> Excuse me. I need another cough drop, I think. I should have brought another one down. But this is accepting the way things are and who you are, okay? Accepting the fact that you are a spiritual being and accepting this guidance and from spirit, okay? And let's go ahead and now if none of this resonates with you, I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, please do check out your rising signs and moon signs and Maybe there's information there. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups here. Changes in love after you've been humiliated, after you've been defeated, or maybe you're on the receiving end, but there's somebody moving away from this toxic situation. There's definitely been some conflict, some war on words is what I'm being shown. And there's a, there's a, and on the other side is three of cups. So what I'm seeing here is that right in the center here is a situation where you were fighting a losing battle. Okay. It's like nobody really truly wins in this. You have someone here that is very smug, very condescending and thinking, and thinking they're on top of the world and kind of like, kind of that na, 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 na type of person and you are saying for some Aquarians that could be you I'm just saying I don't know why but I'm just saying but for most you're taking it you, you're just dropping your sword you're saying I'm done fighting you're moving away from this and I feel like this is an emotional situation that the, that turned to a war on words you're you're taking your cup and you're moving away and there's celebrations of finding friends and family and other people to help you along okay to celebrate with other people and meet new friends <coughs> and lastly we have Pisces okay Pisces Pisces got facade also. So Pisces is also in that situation where they want to pretend, they, where they think everything's okay, but it's really fake. Okay? Um, and it's time to face reality of what a situation really is. Now, Spirit, what advice do you have about this situation for Pisces? Sun, rising, moon. Okay, we have the six of pentacles this is a give and take situation and the truth to the matter is that you're putting in and giving more than what you are receiving um, this is where the facade comes in 
You think everything's okay. You give, 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 and get very little in return, Pisces. Okay? It's not balanced. Okay? And then we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is about fairness. Okay? He's very analytical. He is like the emperor <coughs> of the minor arcana. He analyzes things. He <coughs> uses very little emotion, but he tries to judge fairly. Okay? And what I'm feeling here is you're not treating yourself fairly. Okay, things are not truly fair. And you also got the Three of Cups. Okay, so. In whatever situation, whether it is work or relationships, you are putting in more than what you are getting out of it. And it is time that you realize that, stop pretending everything's okay. You need to put to lay down the law and say, this is what it is. I am not doing this anymore, which will lead you to new friendships, new celebrations. You'll feel free. You'll feel like you'll feel a lot lighter. Okay. Okay. And that is what I have today. Um, I'm having a hard time start talking anymore, but I do thank you for watching. Please do like this video and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and share this on your social media. And if you like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. I do thank you for watching and you have a great day.